that user error. <laughs> Welcome to our concert tonight. Tonight we're going to take you on a journey from the simple songs that we learned at the beginning of the year all the way up through a full band arrangement at the end of the concert. And along the way, we're going to feature some of our sections. So the first section we're going to feature is our baritone and horn section. And we're going to play uh, these students' favorite first song, Hot Cross Buns. And now we move along on our journey to France. This is Au Claire de la Lune, which means by the light of the moon, which is all we get in Michigan at this time of year, is the <laughs> night. Um, and this will feature our trombone section. And this song really was about how many different ways can we take three notes and make new melodies. So this one has quarter notes and half notes and whole notes in it. And did I buy enough time? Yes, I did. So this is the trombone section. The next one is a piece that we kind of wrote in class along with the melody that was already there. This one's going to feature our flute section. And right now we're going to emulate the sound of a train. This one's called Down by the Station, featuring our flutes.
right, next up is our percussion section. The percussionists have to play everything. They have to play the snare drum and the bass drum and the cymbals and the keyboard instruments and all the little gadgets like triangles and vibra slaps and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Even a weird instrument called the flexitone. And yes, you've heard it if you've watched cartoons. We're not playing that tonight. I don't show them that instrument on purpose. So this is a song that you'll know by many different names, but today we're going to call it Merrily We Roll Along. And if you watch the percussionists, they're going to do an epic switch right in the middle of the song. I love it when students practice a lot, and sometimes to encourage students to practice a lot, you do things like have an audition for a solo. So we had some auditions for a solo for tonight's concert, um, and we did them in class. They went in, it was blind, they went into a room, they all played, and the class voted while they couldn't see. Nobody knew who each other was. And the four soloists that just so happened to win were Avery on flute, come on up here, and uh, Charlotte on saxophone back there, and Farah on trumpet, and Callan on trumpet. So come on up here, and you're going to get to hear some solos on a familiar Christmas salt, Good, Good King Wenceslas. And I learned last week that Good King Wenceslas was not actually a good king, but whatever. Next up, we have the saxophone section playing a fabulous march that maybe a lot of you know called Crusaders March. Uh, if you grew up in the 1900s, you might have seen a show called The Lone Ranger. And on The Lone Ranger, they had a theme song that the horse, you know, that the horse, what was the horse's name? 
Silver, yeah, high and low silver. There you go. Lights, man, they make you forget everything. Um, they, that's from an overture that was written by Rossini a long time ago for an opera that really never happened, but the overture was very popular. And the rest of the overture you hear in all Bugs Bunny cartoons and all kinds of stuff like that. We're actually not gonna play that, but we're gonna play a song similar called Go Tell Bill. Oh, and it features the trumpets. It's time for some clarinets. The clarinets are going to play a duet. This is the first duet in the book, and you can tell that the book is geared for the first half of the year because this duet's fairly early in the book, and it's called Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Okay, and as promised, we're at one of our two band arrangements. The first one we're gonna play for you is called Jingle Bells. And this is really difficult to put together for sixth graders because it has a lot of independent parts, like the trombones and the baritones are doing something different than the trumpets, and they're doing something different than the clarinets, but we have to play them all at the same time. And then the percussionists, they're in like a different country, so. This is called Jingle Bells. All right, before we play our last number, just a thank you to our auditorium crew. There's a bunch of students working around here in the back, up there, um, over there running sound, um, places uh, in the back, hallways and everywhere, helping make this concert run really smoothly. Can you give a big round of applause to those students?
those students have some really great leadership, and that comes from Chris Chapman and Jackie Carnes. <laughs> Jackie's responsible for all this cool lighting up here, and Chris is responsible for everything that's in the auditorium. So, um, And then, where you got your tickets and the person that takes care of all the front of the house details and then kind of lets all the different parties talk is a very important person to me, Mrs. Jennifer Radke. It's, it's my wife, just so you know. That's why she's important. Well, and she's important anyway. I'm getting in trouble. Stop talking. <laughs> Um, the next song we're going to play is called Band on the Housetop, and one of the big concerns we have is how do you get a band on the housetop? So don't let them try. Um, but like you could guess, this is based on Up on the Housetop, and this is a really complex arrangement for sixth graders, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for coming to our concert tonight. This is Band on the Housetop. I actually forgot a really important thank you. Standing in the back wing, can you come out here, Owen? <laughs> this is Owen. Owen helps me during third hour. He's a high school student. He's really helping the percussionists in the third hour class a lot, but he's really been helpful this year. So please, a round of applause for Owen. Thank you and happy holidays.